All right. <clears throat> there is a certain shot of a bow and arrow in the movie Robin Hood. Is your hold on? Is your theory that if you give a good yeah. explanation, <laughs> you're yeah. going to effectively roll better so because of Kevin it? Costner? There's a few times. Okay, one time he actually splits an arrow. Or he shoots two arrows and they hit two different guys. Not gonna do that because I don't want to. I don't want to reveal everything that I've got going on right now. But he <laughs> shoots one shot that goes like through the forest and nails the guy in the head to kill him. This is not necessarily that shot, but it's of that epic level for thirteen, which is still a miss. But the thought process. Yeah, I mean, you hit the ogre. It just doesn't go deep enough to hurt him. Inspired you know? that what by by what she just saw, Abigail attempts the exact same thing. Okay. And, and succeeds. <laughs> and does one damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I honestly Perfect think girl. that Bannon? Endmaster was right because there's a, there's a dev that rates Jeff's movie references for dice rolls. <laughs> They're on roll 20. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, so I see Abigail's arrow sticking out of this hill giant and I attempt to split her arrow in twain. <laughs> Are you actually trying to split the arrow? Uh, yeah. Okay, yes, minus I am. 10 to hit on top of whatever. Why would you do that? I don't know. I didn't think it'd be minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to hit an arrow in a giant. What did you think it would be? All right, minus one, because it's kind of a tough shot. Like. So you get a total of minus four to hit. No, because um, it's plus 10, so it's just, just regular. Yeah, but you're shooting at the This is actually the first time I've over. ever looked at Bregger's okay. intelligence, and he's actually an idiot on his character. Yeah. Is he? No, it's just no. like, why would he do that? So, he's like, his numbers are all like 15 is the medium. Okay, so I guess if we're aiming for the same spot, go ahead, get your plus four. So oh, a total of god. zero modifier. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Oh god, why? I he's got a... Ten. Yeah, nice Ten. job. Okay. <laughs> you... Would have been a 20 if he just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I could have split the arrow in twain. Yeah, just like you could have filleted it while you flew down it. But... I tried, man. You know, I gotta go for things. Ragnar is the straightforward character, I think. Every time you're like, all right, do this awesome thing, like have a bear, it ends up getting tied to a tree and killed. <laughs> straightforward fuck ups. Two archers that climbed the wall take their shots. One of them hits. The three damage. Um, the one on the ground is, you know, backs up all the way to the wall, takes the one shot that he's got while he whispers a quiet prayer to his gods. Um, and then the giant, you know, with a savage growl. All right. I still have to roll, right? Oh, did you make your attack? No. Make your attack. I missed. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, takes his club and smashes it down over the guy's head, but hits the front of the wall and just kind of like... <laughs> and stops and like some small rocks rain down on the archer's head below and you can whisper you hear a oh thank god from him where does it hit can you draw it on the the thing please yeah let's let's modify this so we actually have bannon up here bregger up here no no no. i'm on the ground you're on the ground yeah okay this guy's here um bannon images are over here somewhere this guy is like that it's more like this now so he his club lands right here. Okay. So he misses. And the guy, yeah, it misses. Our turn. Party's turn. Yay, yay, yay. I will take a shot at him. Um, nothing special, just 18. 18's a hit. D8 D damage. D8. Four. And I'm going to take a shot for 16. Hit. And one. Because <laughs> why not, huh? Mm -hmm. Neil, mm -hmm. what's my roll for a staff? D20 plus what? Uh, plus one. Breaker, go ahead. I have something to consider. Okay, so <laughs> I look at the, the giant. Mm -hmm. And I unleash two attacks upon him with my bow. Do it. So... We're back to the good old plus 10, or is it plus 11 because I'm getting a side attack here. Plus 11. Oh, you're not trying to get the arrow anymore? Plus 11. Now that has... Uh... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Definitely not going for the arrow on uh, that one. You know what time it is, Bregger. I love Bre yeah. I love Ryan's reaction. Oh, just oh, save oh. this and get the next attack. <laughs> save versus death. Twenty. Oh, okay. you God. So does that mean the shot still goes uh, off uh, because he critically? Crit yeah, actually no, he just means he doesn't shoot anyways oh. and hits. The okay. Okay. Now I take my second shot. <laughs> one. Twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight is a hit. Twenty-eight is a single crit. Nice. For eight damage. Still got your one in there. You know you're. If anything, you're <laughs> consistent, Bregger. If anything. You're I am consistent. indeed. I am indeed. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so if I look at the ogre, or sorry, the giant right now, what what's he look like, Neil? Is he pretty fucked he's up? Pitched, he's covered in arrows all over his body. Uh, fuck, I'm not gonna fuck. I'm, I don't want to die. I'm just risking. I'm just rolling for six, so I miss. <laughs> You're really I like awesome. that this like strange old wizard man. Like what is? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not quite there just yet. <laughs> if right. anything, I'm still holding on to the, the shoulder, the the back, uh, both probably both. Let's do this. Nope. <laughs> this is what happens. I go to shoot. And I release, and the bow actually goes further than the arrow. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. That's how it's happening. Is it, so, giant miss, now it's his turn, I guess, right? And now it's the townsfolk turn. The two on the top shoot. One of them oh, hits. One of them crits. Holy crap. Dude, these um, townspeople. Is it the same guy that murdered the other giant? Well, the last time it was three shots all at the same time. It's like... <laughs> This time, one of them like sails way over his head, while the other like goes right through his eyeball. And I was pointing to throw up at the yeah, and the the giant like goes down on one knee, and then just like falls. Sick. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna start climbing down the tower. That's it for the giants. We just have ogres, and uh, I recommend we break it up into groups of you know. Like two groups, and we just go find them as fast as we can and, and kill them. It's it's how many ogres? Like three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we can do that. Let's I turn, go at it. I say we're going as a group. There's, we're not splitting up. Everyone goes together and fights. And then I like shoot the look at the new wizard guy that <laughs> was like feebly shooting the arrow. Then I look back at the group and I say, Bregor, you take <laughs> Abigail and a couple of the. Well, actually, just Abigail. You guys can handle that, and then I'll take the townsfolk. Yeah. There's five townsfolk. There's three soldiers and two archers. Vincent, I have to be honest. I, I agree with Bannon on this one. All right. Let's all stick together. Okay. <laughs> let's okay. stick together then. I make a slight smile and say, let's go. <laughs> and I'm going to toss... Uh, I toss the bow back to uh, Bregor. And then I march forward. And, and then I toss the bow... Back because I already have one. It's just... <laughs> Can you roll because I want to see how bad you miss because I'm just walking for just for comedy value. If I, <laughs> you like if I have to roll, you have to roll. <laughs> you have to roll the toss at me first. Just a normal d20. 13. <laughs> okay. And then I toss it back. He toss it back. Uh, right. That's good enough. You guys toss bows to one another. Yeah, but his hits nothing. It fucking bounces <laughs> off my shoulder or something like that because I'm just walking forward. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, you guys, you guys slightly start... turn around and you see me starting to take a shit, and I'm looking very closely <laughs> at my mirror image to see what nope. happens. <laughs> Not turning around. I'm... All right, let's continue on. Oh god. Okay. Um, so I'm st I'm doing this uh, fairly like. I'm not running down the middle of the street. I'm kind of sticking to the house walls, listening for commotion or ogres and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty clear where the commotion <laughs> is um one of the ogres has raided a bar like the first one you come across is in a bar um you see the innkeeper dead a bunch of patrons you know bloodied across the wall one guy like in a corner behind a table being like don't look at me don't look at me <laughs> um and it's like and you see the ogre with like a keg like a whole cask just like ah just drinking i'm gonna sneak up behind it and cut its head off Damn it, okay, so I'm the one who's supposed to sneak in and chop, chop. Yeah, but as interesting as that is, I'd <laughs> rather just kill it. Yeah. So Vincent pulls out his sword and starts sneaking up behind it. Um, do any of you guys, you know, the archer, <clears throat> do you, the townsfolk just kind of like watch this and go, are you guys, kind of like whisper to Brigger, are you serious? Why don't we just shoot him? 
Um, so as <clears throat> well as Vincent is doing his sneak up, we can all fire a volley to draw the ogre's attention. Sure. Away from Vincent. He'd be coming from the same direction you are shooting. Like he uh, has to get from you to the ogre, so you. I thought. See. Well, I thought he was going to be doing up? like. Can we see, sneak let me... attack him from behind? Let so, me just draw. So, uh, like, if we're, get a if we're right here, now. like, all in this area, and I thought Vincent could come around like that, and the ogre would be... <laughs> you be careful there. You be careful there. <laughs> this <fine>. area. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, okay, so if there's if... a doorway that's been, like, a door that's been ripped <clears throat> off his hinges. You guys see the ogre in there. Vincent goes up with his sword out, like, sneaking up behind him. Okay, well, um, if it's going to shoot the to Vincent, I'm not going to shoot. Okay, yeah. can I sneak attack him with a bow shot? Yeah, absolutely. In the back? Yeah. So, how much bonus did that give me? Well, you get your normal attack roll, um, which for you would be d20 plus 5, 6, plus 2 for back attack would be d20 plus 7. Um, and but so my normal roll is mm. d20 plus 6. Yeah. Yeah, but this is a, a back... Uh, sorry, d20 plus 8. Yeah. Um, and then if you hit, you are okay. a... 14. Is it a hit or not? <laughs> no, a 14 is a miss. Okay, then you can close it. <laughs> okay. Ogre is um, startled and turns to kill Vincent. Yeah, and we then mourn Eric our dead right him. past him. He drops the cask, turns around, picks his club off the table, and sees Vincent sneaking up towards him. Uh, roll for initiative, Vincent. <sighs> It would have been good. No. Oh, Three, not bad. First. Make your attack. 27. Yeah. 27 is a single crit. Is it a large creature? It is. 18. Um, okay. The ogre howls in pain as you slice through his belly. Uh, and he picks his club up and swings it at you. Shit, what is their attack bonus? Did it take any extra damage? I mean, I thought I should do uh, right for what? critical. Yeah, it should. You rolled two d twelve plus six. Well, what I'm oh, saying the is save versus death shit. Right. Um, yeah, he actually failed. Thank you. I forgot about that. It's all right. I'm training to be a DM. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be mini Neil. Um. Weapon size is smaller than the target. D6 damage. So is that all I do? I just roll oh, I'm D6? sorry, D6 severity. And then D10 for location. Four. Two. Two. You slash him in the right leg. Uh, and he starts bleeding a little bit. Not significant enough to warrant concern. Um, you rolled right. for his attack and then you were checking on it. Right, right. Uh, his attack is... How about the other people of the party, though? How about, like, Gregor? He, his attack bounces off your shield, or it's deflected by your shield. Anyone else in the party want to shoot through the doorway? Uh, yes, I do. <clears throat> okay. Um, what is it, just plus six? Yeah. Eight. At least it wasn't a one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> At least it wasn't a one. <laughs> okay, now the the you're you're basically. putting your average higher. Hold on, I still have to go. You you shoot <laughs> with your bow. <laughs> Just ignore him, please. He's, He's like drunk. Get out of the way of the doorway. I'll take my shot now. I do it, it. I do it like gangster it, style. I turn it sideways. I'm like I got this, mother. <laughs> hey, um, uh, HP total, real quick. Um. <laughs> Vincent is at, what did I say, four? four. Six? Four. four. Vincent's at four, Brigger's at 36, Abigail is at 22, Bannon is at four. Um, the town archers kind of look, and one of them takes a shot, the other two don't. They're too worried about hitting Vincent. They miss. My turn? Um, yeah, it's your turn. And Abigail, and everyone's turning in. <laughs> Let's roll first up. Oh, 15. <laughs> 15 is a hit. <laughs> What's the damage? Eight damage. <laughs> what is it? D8? D8, yeah. For six. Bannon shoots the ogre and it dies. Got him. Great. I got him, guys. 
<laughs> Alright, so it falls over. After all his practice of shooting like this. Um I guess uh I guess I just like motion to the rest to move towards the next sound, I suppose. Like yeah. trying to move quickly. You guys keep moving through the city streets and you come across two ogres um in the middle of a street currently. Uh they've got each one of them is holding one arm of a person. And they're just like slowly pulling. They've got this big grin on their faces. They like try and rip his arms off. Facing towards us. <clears throat> um, one of them is. They're kind of at a very slight. Angle, so they're at like a slight angle. So you can see one of them on the side and the other on the. So other I side. start to notch right. an arrow, and then I, I see say that happening. I say and um, I before we go in, I, I say Vincent, you are extremely wounded. Allow me to uh, go in. I didn't realize you were still this wounded. It's fine, friend. It's okay. Let's do this though. All of you ranged folk. I want you to uh, notch and ready at the one closest to us. I will circle around back with Abigail, because this is the moment that Abigail's been waiting for for probably her entire life. <laughs> and uh, when I give the motion, fire at him, and then we will attack the ones, the, the, the backs of them. And I shoot appear. first, because we need to. Hold on, to Abigail, can you first. respond to the thing in Skype first? Abigail, not understanding. You and I are, are flanking them. Yeah, it's all good. Now, if you okay. could draw it on roll 20, are you going to flank the same way or opposite ah, direction? Yes, let me draw that for you real quick. It's so opposite it is, uh, direction seems optimal. It's in. Here's the it's thing. In. So here's one <laughs> ogre, there's another, and they're pulling <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah. We are over here. <laughs> Abigail and I are going to flank around to about here. I want you guys to shoot many arrows at them from here, and then when this turns to face you, we'll then have their backs. I draw this in the sand. Excellent. <laughs> does, that, does that ring clear? So let me. That's what we. That's what I want to do. Now let me re-explain this to Ab. Can you de delete this, please? I'll, I'll brush the sand. Jake. All right. So Abigail, this is what's going to happen. There be dragons. This be us. We be here. Dragons give back. We tack. I okay. think I need to be the first one to attack, though, in order to get my super bonus. No. I yep. knew you would understand this. So let the let yeah, them get surprised. That was them. a blimp, man. I was trying to draw a You'll blimp. You'll get their backs. I don't okay. trust you. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's do this. So Abigail, come with me. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. And as we go, like I'm I'm like telling her like <laughs> it's okay. You guys try and sneak up behind the ogres in the middle of the street. No, Neil, come on. Okay, let me. Is this that peanut butter and jelly sandwich thing? So let me. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what I do. First, the left foot go. No, we're not going to be like, shh, quiet like, and like tiptoe around the street. Like, okay, so here's the like... street. You guys are talking about sneaking up on them. Yes. Right, so we have one over here. So if I have to go behind a house, here. Neil, I'll do it. Okay, so you go like around the block to come up behind them? Sure. Is or there a the house? house? I would go on the roof of the house. Holy Christ. I'm a really <laughs> fast climber. So no, this no, it's is the house. Weird that you so, still don't understand what we're trying to do. Oh, uh, there's no house. I mean, th you're in the middle of a freaking city, so there's okay, plenty fine, of houses. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's do that. What are you doing on the roof? Are you are you climbing on a roof right now? Like, no, it's fine. I'm not. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So my my question for you, Vincent, because yes. I guess I don't understand, is you are trying to get behind the ogres. Yes. Trying to rip a person's arms off. Well, okay. behind at an angle where. Uh, once they get hit by arrows, they turn to face the party, and now their backs are to us. Okay. Okay, so if the party is coming from up here, you would be coming all the way back to this side of the street below them, so that when the party attacks from on top, you can attack from below? I don't understand where you are trying to position yourself. I'll tell you what, someone's at the door, I have to go get, I have to go get them, but the very basic gist of this is, they fire arrows at the the ogres. The ogres turn to face them. We're in a position where now their back is to us. So then we can okay. attack. So you back. want to be on the other you side. You create the them. picture. I'll be right back and uh, <laughs> I give Brago rights to attack with me. Okay. Uh, since Ooh. I don't want to dictate your player actions, why doesn't someone else tell me how you guys want to do this? Like, I understand the concept that you want them their backs to be to you, but you tell me the specifics of how you get to a point where their backs will be to you. Breaker, you it's because once they fire, the ogres yeah, are going to... Okay. So the, the entire party is up here at the top, right? You guys are like a block away or something. We got... Yeah. I should just write out names here. 
we've got like um, B R B A A V and we'll make circles this time. Circles for town archers. Okay. So what if I sneak this way and I wait for them to fire an arrow? Okay. And then but right I here, fire. this is a building. Like this is a house that you're. Just, you cannot be inside. Like. Okay. Then I'll go on the freaking roof. It's happening. Okay. So you go and climb up onto a building and then like start going down the the block rooftops or rooftop. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Does anyone want to tell me what Vincent is doing? It's been about an hour. I think we could just take a break, to be honest. I yeah, think let's he said, take a break. <clears throat> I think Vincent said he was going to be gone oh, for like five minutes. Oh, we're supposed to like end this like in seven minutes. Well, Are I'm we? sure we'll be there fairly soon. Vincent's gone for ten minutes. We should just take a break real quick. Then we'll let's come do back in sure. this fight, and that'll be okay. the night. So okay. we'll be right back, guys. <sighs> like... Three or four minutes. Whenever break, or Vincent gets back, we'll see you then. All right, guys, welcome back to Roleplay. Sorry for that break. We're going to take the last 20 minutes here and finish this up. So, Vincent. This... Okay. Yes. So, here we have a street. You guys are not actually this close. You're probably another 100 yards down the road. Um, this is the street where the ogres are, as we can see. And we can see them trying to pull that town's person apart. You guys are another 100 yards down. Abigail has expressed coming back wanting to climb on top of buildings to get over here um, on this set, section. Vincent, where do you want to go so that when you win, where do you want to move to? Uh, How do okay. you want to get there? So this is the street on either side of our buildings is what you're saying? Yes. So I guess what I would have us do then is, well, I guess with this picture, it looks... I mean, I'm guessing it's like old-school medieval town, so it's like wall-to-wall -wall houses, right? There's not, like, alleys yeah. between. No. Uh, so we can go from rooftop to rooftop. Then I think this is Abigail's dream moment. Like, upon assessing us, I say, Abigail, get on that roof and give him the sneak attack of a lifetime. And then after she sneaks attack, let loose the dogs of war and shit with arrows. So if there's a house here, I'd like to be here and... Kill well that dude I guess since he's the most back attackish or something. Sure. So Abigail goes up there. You try and make a you try and move silently to get there. Actually, can I actually if I could I was just what? in auto frame. Let's put me here and sneak attack this one. <laughs> okay. Back attack, sneak attack, everything. Okay, let's make it out. This entire this time, I've just been holding my bow, arrow drawn, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for something to D20 happen. D20 plus 8 or 10? 10. 10. 8. Well, shouldn't eight. we all roll at the same time for dramatic effect? 8. eight. D20 plus 8 to hit. Are you guys all trying to attack at the same time? No. I think, right I think, it's, I think she gets her sneak attack, and then we <clears throat> fire after she does, right? Okay, Abigail. They fire. 27! Attack. Nice. 27 is a hit. 27 is a crit. Can it go Double through crit. him and attack him as well? Um, okay, no, it's all good. Right, hold on. So. so hold on, but I need to figure out what your sneak attack damage is. I think your sneak attack damage is normally times three. I think Neil's just trying to kill people with alcohol three. right now. <laughs> no, I am legitimately, there's a lot of unusual I know, things I'm, I'm here. I know. It's like 66 or something. Like I'm going to uh, criticize you for your damage. knowledge of, of D&D. Yeah. 14. 14. Holy shit. Um, and then my shot comes in for two. Abigail one shots <laughs> the ogre. He falls oh, to the ground. Yeah. Dead. Neil, this, I fired a shot and missed This isn't in slow motion, though, because this is Abigail's, like, literally in 18 weeks, she's killed 14 things, but then she's up on this roof. And she's like, finally, it's time to be the other Abigail. And she, like, pulls back. <laughs> and its head explodes. Can we have its head explode, Neil? Is that high enough? No, it was not high enough. God damn. All right, well, then it was Look cool. at all those ones in that deep four, five. Deep I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rest of, uh, spin so the person all of a sudden, you know, the ogre lets go of the grip. The person flies with the other ogre who stumbles <clears> backwards. <throat> Unexpectedly. So I rolled a two. Do I hit the person on accident? What? I rolled a shot. 
Yeah, you miss. You don't. <laughs> if you'd rolled a one, you might have hit the person. Damn it. Maybe. Um, everyone else, your three archers all. Uh, and they all miss. Does uh, Bregor fire? I, I do indeed. I do indeed. Go. Just the one shot, yeah? All right. Uh, yeah. What is it, a d20 plus six? It's a one. <laughs> nope. Two. It is a two, oh. though. Okay. Miss? <laughs> yeah. Vincent, you don't have a bow. I do not, but... If only... Uh, I guess since it's like now, it, its attention is on us, right? It's looking at this group of people that just yeah, fired. Yeah, it turns at it. towards you guys, uh, and then it starts running. Running towards us or away? Away. Oh. It goes like this. Ah. I guess I, it. I start chasing. Okay. Do we get an attack of opportunity? Yeah, back attacks. No. But you get a back attacks. Everyone Oops. make a shot. What's my... Whatever, I rolled a three. You can tell me what... <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Another two. So one of the archers accidentally hits the man who was being pulled in two. Oh. Well, that wasn't us. That wasn't our fault. Um, and kills him. That's fine with me. <laughs> Friendly fire. And another archer actually hits the ogre and does significant damage to it. Can we just say that's the archer that's just been, like, destroying everything for the past Sure, it can hours. be one archer that's hitting everything and doing all this damage. His name is Clegor. Uh If it's not dead, Abigail should get a shot, <laughs> I would imagine. She's our only hope now. Gregor, did you shoot? You yeah, shot. I did. He rolled a, uh, the fabled two. So do I shoot? Yes. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Same attack as last time, since you're still <coughs> back attack on him. Uh, so, eight. 19. Nice! Hit. 19 is not a crit, though. Roll the six damage. Six. Whoa! Nice. Abigail, the <laughs> other <laughs> The other oh Abigail. God. The other Abigail. Okay. <laughs> we just Ogre see Abigail walking around with an udder on her. We're like, dark into a building. <laughs> it's not dead. Damn. No, it's not dead. All right. Well, I'm giving chase. So whatever. If you know, okay. as it, uh, I'll catch up or something. Yeah. You chase after it. Uh, you. S <laughs> it has darted into a person's house, and you see it in there, like lowering at uh, a woman, and who's like got her children behind her, being like, "No, please, not the children." <laughs> so I crash through, and I'm going to cut its head off. Okay. Real original Do there. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of movies, so. 13. Just Damn miss. it. Yeah. <clears throat> I miss its head. I give chase as well. Okay. You guys, everyone chases after it, basically. Yeah. Um the ogre sees Vincent in his plate mail. Ogre's got his club. Uh, he just kind of gives like a like a look. He looks at you with the look of like, I know I'm going to die here, but I'm going to die the way that I want to die. Then he turns to the woman and the children and makes a cleave attempt against them. Whoa. Hit. Oh. Whoops. Wrong die. Uh, kills the woman. Hits the kid, kills the kid, Aww. does not hit the third kid. Oh, that's oh, even the worst. That one's going to have a <laughs> troubled life. Two people. Um, Vincent, that your turn. Cleaves. Yeah. So I get my two attacks now. Yeah. 16. 16 is a hit. D12 plus 6. I'm guessing yeah. this is its end of days. 11. 11 is a kill. So it slinks over. Yeah. So there was three kids and a mom, and the two of the kids died, and the mom died. One kid died, and the mom died. Mm -hmm. Is it three kids? You said. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I just kind of look at them sadly and and back out of the house. Not really sure what the doers say. Okay. <clears throat> Abigail comes to the door and loots the children's bodies. <laughs> Nah, because I'm too busy looting the house from which I was shooting from the roof. <laughs> I asked the guardsmen, is there any more ogres in town? Do we know? Uh, they say, I don't think so, but we should fan out and keep looking for them. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. So I kind of like, I kind of gimp out of the house because I'm only at four health, so I'm pretty wounded. Mm-hmm. 
And, uh, I say, you know what? I forgot that we were supposed to leave someone alive to ask them about what's going on here. But, uh, I guess... There's I guess... still, uh, Shiyila. Okay, that's good. Good, good job, Abigail. To... We need to revive her, though. We need, like, one HP. Yeah. Do you have any potions, Abby? <laughs> do you have any potions, Gregor? <laughs> I do, but I, mean, I want, we could I want wait to kill for the, her. We could wait for the healer to have healing. She's a, she doesn't seem like she's losing blood, so she could be healed tomorrow. Yeah, see, the only thing is, is I'm, I'm not going to use my potions on that. Yeah, that's why I'm saying we can wait trader. for tomorrow. Yeah. We Are we back in her anyway. body? Not yet. Do you guys gonna... head back there? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I guess we should start walking back. Yeah. So okay. as we walk, I see an elvish. So we're not going to loot the whole city? <laughs> mm -hmm. I respond back and say, is that what you usually do? I say an elvish, well, I'm a thief, man. What do you expect from me? <laughs> I asked the party, like, so are we killing this Yila person? I say we interrogate her, because she's the only person left that can give us some answers. And I'm not even sure if she's a traitor, or if she just got caught, or what the fuck happened to her. We can, she's still can... wearing the same clothes that she was that one. The clothes we bought her, she's still wearing them, and she seems like she didn't have a good time at all. We can interrogate yeah. her, but if I don't like her answers, I'm going to kill her. So I, I address okay. Vincent and say, Vincent, Tedagub was your, your best friend, was he not? Yes. I also had a lot to lose from this person because Tedagub is no longer here and so are my, or are my boots gone with them. I hand him a knife and say you should be the one to kill her. We should fucking interrogate her. I'm tired of killing people before talking. <laughs> Abigail is right. We shall inter interrogate her, but I also agree with Bregor that if she doesn't prove innocent or useful, she will die. All right. <laughs> okay, so you guys get back to Eula. Um, she's still unconscious. Uh, I guess we can ask the cleric if he can do cleric anything. Cleric is gone. Oh. What? He would leave all those corpses? <clears throat> On the plus side, Abby, there's two holes for you to pour the potion into her mouth now, because I shot one through her earlier. There's actually three, if you look at her mm -hmm. cheeks, Bregger, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, it went all the way through, through, through. Mm -hmm. Three holes, Abby. But this is going to be like <laughs> a fucking expensive answer. It's, you're the one that wants the answers. It's your friend. You guys do not want any answers of why we're being attacked or anything. I have no care in the world for this person's life. I think we should interrogate her, Abigail. I think you're right, but I don't have potions to offer, and it seems like it's you and Bregor, so if you want to Rochambeau for it or something, we can move this along, but listening to you two elves argue over the cost of what it will take to revive them is getting tiresome. All right, I'm using my potion. I, I, wait, wait, wait. Is there any way we can get a healer, or there's no way there's going to be anyone healing? I say, do, you, well, like, I just, do you just say this to the group? I was more asking Neil, but... Oh. I can say it to the group. Neil, in, in Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> is there any way to heal no, anyone? No, but how, why is the priest leaving? This is not cool. <laughs> Neil, why did the cleric move away from this spot? <laughs> I can't reveal that information yet. Oh, okay. Any All other, right, uh, I'm using the potion on her. Which healing potion is it? Just your it's a standard? shit potion, yeah. Use your really good one. So well, she's she only has one healing all potion, the way up. So. Okay, you force feed her a healing potion. Don't you dare kill her if I'm not done with her, because I'm fucking wasting a potion. This. D okay. what? D eight. Oh, I'm sorry. Two D four. Two D four. I draw Five. my sword. <clears throat> I draw my sword. I, I give you a look that says, "Don't fucking." Anticipation for attack. But I. <laughs> comes to consciousness. Uh, I'm going to uh, draw my bright blade's dying wish, lay it across my like lap, and kneel down to her, 
shields back like it's I don't have it up or anything like that obviously mm -hmm. and say uh, we've brought you back because we need to know what's going on if you don't fulfill that purpose I believe you'll be going somewhere very dark she looks up at you guys and goes I'm so sorry about before what what, right, what happened so and then she what breaks happened? into tears um, and says so they they have my kids so they have your family, and they told you to bring us here, and then what? to lead us. Ab Abigail. Start. They they wanted they wanted the ring Abigail has. They told uh. they said they said if I didn't bring you back, bring you to them that that they would kill my kids. That they I mean, they have my children and my husband, and if I didn't lure the the ring or get the ring back to you them somehow, I would, they would kill my children and my husband. Mm. I'm so sorry. And what of your family now? They're still... They're being held on the ship right now. Is there more giants and ogres on the ship? She nods. How many, How more? many more? Nailed it. <laughs> there should be two giants on the ship. Uh, no more ogres. Was the mountain giant their leader? She nods. Is there more like them on the island? Uh, yeah. Yes, there are more, but this is a, a significant portion of their strength. Mm. Is there any other leader that we're missing out on? Someone higher than the mountain giant? Albert was the the leader there. His, his name is Albert. Well, that's what we we called him. His actual name is unpronounceable to us. Do you know if there are any more rings? Not that I know of. He never took it off, um, so he doesn't know of any others either. Yeah, by the way, guys, I have it. <laughs> you have what? The second ring. I thought they all melted. No, my ring melted, but I just... when Yours I went is destroyed? To... Yeah. Dragon destroyed it. Don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably bad. Did Yila say that, or did you say that, Neil? Yila said that. Mm. Uh, Bregor, Abigail, do you have more questions for her? So, more of a statement. <clears throat> Yila, um, I, I can completely sympathize with the fact that your family is being held hostage. But when you were with us on the island, you saw us take down an ogre. Uh, you knew we were a powerful group. Giant. And as much, yeah, giant and o giants ogres. Um, <clears throat> as much as I sympathize with you, we can no longer trust you because there are things that you care about more than our party. She nods and says, "I know, I know." But can will you will you go and save our people? Still, do you think <clears throat> you can? Probably I not think... with you. <laughs> so here's the thing. But you friends. can save them, right? I come from a land where this kind of atrocity, even under these circumstances, is punishable by death. And I can tell her that I, I believe, when I speak on behalf of the group, that we will make our way over there, because these people are the people of Abigail and Bregor as well. But what the question I pose to my companions, because I'm not going to decide for them, is whether or not she lives or dies. I will tell you that while <laughs> I do sympathize with what she explains, what, what you say, Bregor, is very true. But also, if we release her, there's a chance that she goes back and again sells information to those people for her family again. I think what we do is... Trial by combat. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Casual gladiator. I don't actually say that, by the way. I'm very... <laughs> so, I'm okay, I think what we do is we explain to you, Yila, um, that we will attempt to save your family off of the ship. We will attempt to save the rest of Elvenkind. But uh, for you, I think it will have to be a, a death. She nods, kind of like wipes away a couple of tears, and goes, "Okay, <clears throat> but but you'll leave my you'll you'll save my family, though, right?" We'll do everything we can. Abigail Bannon, you are now a member of this group. You uh, also have a voice. If you disagree or agree, you can speak out now. I'm just picking my nails with a dagger. I don't say anything. Well, obviously I disagree, because she's my best friend from childhood, even though she has been a bitch. 
Uh, I bet in her shoes, though, in her defense, any one of us would have done it for their families or for their party. I immediately say I have no family. <laughs> Abigail, your voice is heard, but Bregor and I have voted and Bannon has abstained, which I do believe means that she shall be executed now. I hand him my dagger. Bannon, thank you, but I choose... I want her to have a painless death. I think, uh, as Bregor said, under these circumstances, she's owed that much at least, but she will die. Gila, do you have any final words? I'm sorry. Thank you. And uh, I then, like, tear a sleeve off of, of some form of fabric around me. If there's, I guess there's we're standing outside. There's plenty of dead bodies with fabric dead on body, them. Yep. So I'm going to cover her eyes, you know, like a bandana yeah. or whatever. And then um, find something like a, a, a stump, like a, a bench, a stool. Something. As I see you doing that, I say, why not let her just leave? Put her on a ship or something. Uh, Abigail must have been distracted. <laughs> she, uh... I know we voted could, and everything. No, no, no. It, she could go back and sell the information to the same giants that ambushed us and killed Tugaboo. Why? Tugabo. I have my family... If you rescue my family off the ship, I have no reason to do that. I don't want to go back. Um, they enslaved me and my people. Yes. You uh, accepted your fate very bravely. I appreciate <clears throat> that. We just needed a moment to explain to Abigail why we can't let you just go. <laughs> Abigail, do you understand now? Wink once. I guess that, that's the... Times. No, but I mean, I, I don't think my character would like be like, yeah, now I understand. Let's kill my old best friend. It's a great idea. So. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I did. Continue. Yeah. Oh, you guys are boring. I grab my dagger and stab her in the throat. <laughs> mm. um, roll... Well, she's actually, that's, you can auto-kill her that way if you want, since they're not a combat situation. Did you just stand up and say, ah, oh, you're boring, and then you stab her in the throat? That's what I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yila starts bleeding everywhere and struggles to the ground, twitches and flops around for a moment, and then is still. That was easy enough. Let's continue on. Hmm. Bannon, you motherfucker. <laughs> well... I'm gonna go bury her. And I start digging. On the wall? No, I mean, like, I go down <laughs> through the wall, the I find dirt, I fucking claw that shit away, and then I put the body there. What, I guess I, what, I what say do to you dig yeah. it? With your hands? That sounds like a bad idea. Sounds like a terrible idea. You need, yeah. like, a shovel. Is there any shovels lying? Use your, use your dagger. No, there are no shovels lying around. Ah. <laughs> one, just so happened, one of the town's guards was using a <laughs> shovel. So as I, this is happening, I'm already like climbing down the, the stairs. Okay. Well, since I can't bury her, I'm going to loot her. <laughs> she has nothing on her value. Damn it. <clears throat> oh, does she still have the ring I gave her? Did you give her a ring? Yeah, I gave her a ring of friendship. But it was actually a goblin's ring. Oh, no, it's not on her. Aw, oh, that sucks. That's I go suit. and I, I loot the uh, mountain giant. You find nothing on him. That's some bullshit. All right, let's loot all the In corpses fact... for a week. <laughs> Guys, so just to give you an idea of what just happened, yeah, it this feels is like a little bit weird. Moment, and then you guys Bannon like, walked up, stabbed loot. our prisoner in the throat. She bled out like horrifically. I don't know if you guys know this. I, but did, I did call him a motherfucker. Yeah, you mumbled motherfucker, then you <laughs> walked off to go loot people. Abigail dragged <clears throat> the body away, was looking for a shovel, didn't find one, so instead started frisking the body for items. No, I was looking for the ring. A friendship. Okay. I guess then what uh, Vincent does is he grabs uh, Bannon by the I'm already walking down the, the stairs, collar. though. Oh, I, yeah. I chased up to you. 
Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine, guys. Let's okay. let's uh, <laughs> let's not make me say everything, please. Like, my arms <laughs> stretch out over after. and I grab them. Sure. You. So I, yeah. And then I throw them up against the wall and I say, "Look, if you're going to be with us, you have to do things the way we do it. It's not always the right way, but we do it as a group. You cannot take action like that." I say, if "I you simply be do us. what you guys could not." No, that's we were. It, we were having a discussion for a minute and a half. The person was having their last words. They were arguing their case. You do not get to walk up and just murder the person the way that way. They deserved a fast death, not a bleed out from the throat. Fair enough. And then I let him go, and I walk off. But I'm like, this this whole thing is very <laughs> jarring to me. Like, this is only a... F well, I guess actually after that shirtless montage is a month after Tugabut's death, but like... I watched a family get cut down in front of me. I was knocked out for most of it, so it's it's starting to take a toll. Yeah, and that wall, mind you, has like six ogre corpses on it and like five or six townsfolk corpses on it in addition to Eula. And, you know, it's just like covered in blood and hacked up limbs and whatnot. It, it's a mess. Um, so we're, we've hit our four hours. We can end here... Um, if you guys want. Yeah, I think we end here. Uh, I, I do want to ask from the players, do you loot just the ogres and the giants, or do you also loot the dead guardsmen? I don't loot anything. If nobody sees it, I'm going to loot everything. Okay. I mean, Rager, I don't mean my party. I mean townspeople that could okay. say the story. Frager and Vincent, what do you guys do? Just I, uh, the uh, enemies. Vincent? I, I'm um, I'm going to like walk into the town and see if I can't help people in their houses and stuff. Like okay. uh, find people and find the the village guys that helped us and whatnot. The townspeople, rather. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, well, I think we should end here then. All right. Cool. Let's do shoutouts. Abigail, go. Uh, follow me at LevinPink SC2, twitch.tv slash LevinPink, <clears throat> Facebook and YouTube.com slash LevinPink. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into the show, guys. Um, and thanks for the fan art and everything. I love the support you guys are giving us. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Neil, shout outs. Uh, thanks for watching. You can find me at SC2 Ratings or you can check out sc2ratings.com. Uh, you can also watch my Twitch stuff at twitch.tv slash koibu. Um, Mafia tomorrow. Mafia is a lot of fun. You should all come watch Mafia. And I'll be putting up the Q&A in just a few moments. Vincent. Is there anyone close to leveling at all? I know that we've gotten to a point where it's going to be every once in a while. but I think me and Ryan were the <clears> furthest <throat> away, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Jen needs 3,346. Needs or needed? Needs. Um, I haven't totaled AXP. Jeff, you're about 30,000 away right now. 30,000. You just leveled up. You're the most recent to level up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then Bannon. We're and like 7K away, right? Rager. Yeah. Well, you're even further away. Right. You're 16K. <clears throat> he is 8K. Jeff, Again, shout before outs. today, right? Yeah, before today. I haven't told EXP. I won't get to that till tomorrow or the day after. Right, right. Okay. Um, just thanks to everyone tuning in, as always. Uh, and I guess, no, it's, yeah, that's it. Just thank you very much, and I'll see you guys at DreamHack. There you go. Breaker, some shout outs. Thank you all for watching tonight. Um, I think tonight was a pretty good night. Um, <clears throat> you can follow me on Twitter at MLG Ryan. And if you're going to still be awake after this and you want to watch more of me, I will be live streaming afterwards. Uh, my stream is twitch.tv slash Ryuzilla. Uh, and I will be playing games with viewers and doing an AMA over there. So head on over there if you are still staying up afterwards. I spammed your stream in the chat. Everyone go check Sweet. it out. I'll, awesome. Uh, Post it again once more. Uh, tomorrow, state of the game. We're doing it a day earlier so that we can have Jeff on before he leaves for DreamHack. It'll be myself, Jeff, Todd, and Kaldor. Uh, that'll be at 5 p.m. 
uh, EDT right here at twitch.tv slash MHAP. Uh, the next time that we play, I think, is like not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, I think. That's the weekend before MLG. I think everyone's open. We'll figure it out. I, I don't think anyone here, except for maybe me and Jeff, can really plan that far ahead. <laughs> Uh, and that's a maybe for us. I don't even know if that's even going to be there, that weekend so. works. I'm going to a concert Saturday, but okay. Uh, I'll I'll definitely tweet about it. If you watch it me weekly, which comes out Mondays, I'll it'll be there as well. Uh, content will continue on uh, YouTube every day at seven o'clock EDT is when it'll go up. Um, other than that, check out everyone's stream here. We all stream individually, uh, and yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for State of the Game from Mafia. And make sure you go Wednesday check out. <laughs> oh, and Wednesday night sprites tomorrow night. Yeah, we actually have like six hours of content between the three of us. Um, go watch Burger Stream, twitch.tv slash Ryuzilla. I'll spam it in the chat. We'll see you guys later. It's been Roleplay. Thanks for watching. We are out. <laughs>